Welcome to another episode of Replay, everyone. I'm Andrew Reiner. Hope you're having a great Friday. I got Jeff Cork here. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm good. Oh, buddy, we finally ascended we... to friend. Yes. <laughs> the B tier. <laughs> <laughs> Rise yeah. of the bees. Hey, yep. hey, it's it's up from C. I'll take it. <laughs> we can't say what that is. <laughs> and, and then we have Alex Fadbeck as well. Oh, hello. I'm I, I'm gonna say C. I'll say C minus tier. We'll, we'll work See our way is. up from there. We'll work there our you way go. up. Yeah. And you just we're need to playing... apply yourself. Yeah. <laughs> One day. We're, we're not playing a game today. We're going to be watching the Netflix show The Witcher. Which we can totally monetize. I'm sure Netflix would be totally fine with that, right? They're going to be yeah. cool with it. <laughs> it's for no exposure. Copyright strikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we're going all the way back to the first Witcher. I'm surprised we haven't done this yet on replay because... Um, this is a legendary series now, it turns out. Mm -hmm. After three entries, it has finally arrived in the way that everyone wants. It's mainstream. It's, like we just mentioned, has a TV series. It's inspired by books and role-playing games and all that stuff, or draws pretty much all of its lore from it, right? Yeah. Um, tells many of those tales. And it's made by who I'm going to say is probably the most, uh, uh, I don't know how you'd frame them, CD Projekt Red has ascended to the next the AAA developer, right? Like, yeah. through Witcher 3, after the now they're war. making CD Pro or, uh, Cyberpunk Plague 2077, mm -hmm. coming out the later this year in November. Unknown. November yep. 17, to be exact, right? Yep. Or is it 19? November 19. 19, because Assassin's Creed Assassin's is Creed. 17. Desperate fight. Uh, and then but hopefully the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. How familiar are you with the first Witcher game? Alike. I played a little bit of it, folk were left and what that's had happened it. To the witchers. Alex? Uh, I the am aware of its existence. Ah, the year, there you go. And the great thing is, Alex will be on the stick, <laughs> or on the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> right. A little, not even keyboard, mouse. Apparently you right. can play a lot of this game just on the mouse, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. This sounds like a disaster in the making. <laughs> Perfect replay episode. Oh. Who's How about this? you, Reiner? How familiar are you with The uh, Witcher? I put about 20 hours into this one, and then mm -hmm. I played all the way through Witcher 2. Mm -hmm. And then I skipped the one that everybody liked, because I'm cool like that. Like, yeah. I don't play I don't play minute. good games. Wait a second. Yeah, no, thank you. Did you say you never played 3? No, I, I put like 150 hours into 3. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. What? Nah. <laughs> Pulling oh, yeah, your leg. Yeah. yeah. Man down! Mm -hmm. Chat. How the hell are you? It's good to see you. I, uh, you guys have been rocking with us all week. We've had demo streams. We had the Xbox Watch Along. Now we got replay. Life is good. Hope you're enjoying the the streaming content. Plenty more on the way. Oh yeah. Everything's At the expense right. of Alex Stadnick's no sanity. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that again. Oh yeah. But yeah, no. This has been a fun week, and. Uh, you know, as long as they keep doing the forwards and the game showcases and all that fun stuff, we'll mm -hmm. be right there with you. So, you guys both were were very fun pieces of that with the the podcast and and the stream and whatnot. Did you guys have fun this week? Yeah, yeah, I didn't get to follow up on my predictions. I got them all right, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah man, Banjo Kazooie five yeah, or whatever I, coming tomorrow. I think to be fair, I don't think we followed up on our predictions. We didn't. In general, I think we just pretended that that never happened. It's so. because it's <laughs> yeah. because Reeves, I think, was the only one who got one right, and we didn't want to give yeah. him that satisfaction. So not at all. It's also <laughs> really satisfying for listeners to be like, "Oh, this dangling thread. What's going to happen there?" It's like, oh, you're one of many, yeah. just hanging out there now, <laughs> never to be heard from again. Whatever. Oh, I love it so much. Um, but yeah, Reeves, I think, was the only one who got one right, and it was that Obsidian would announce its next RPG, which mm -hmm. we got with Avowed. Yeah. Back to this game, that triumphant music didn't really oh. line up with the visuals. It was like, yeah, it's just a castle. Yeah. But it was making it seem like, this is the best castle you may have ever seen. <laughs> like, soak it up. But yeah, we've seen it all. You've yeah. panned out as far as you can. <laughs> Forget I had Lord the, of the same. Rings. Yeah. I had the same thought, Jeff, and I was reminded of Monty Python. It's just a model. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, I was like, oh, you shouldn't make that reference because it's really going to date you. I don't know if Monty Python is like ageless or I, if that's an old reference. I think it's ageless. I, I freaking love Monty Python. Right. I, okay. Uh, if Alex gets it, he's holy, yeah. holy fresh grail out of high school. Is, <laughs> yeah. Still just wearing born. his starter jacket. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question for you, Alex. Yes. 
speaking of things that are timeless, yeah. When did you listen like when you were in high school to the Violent Femmes' first album? <laughs> no, I don't think I did. Okay, so that was. Are you a music guy? I'm a. I'm more of a, a hip hopper. I like. Uh, okay. I like the beats. Um, I Fair still. Enough. I I would say. My freshman year, I was still listening to like alt rock, so like, and a little more like, so like My Chemical Romance and Three Days Grace. Um, yeah. Yeah, like that kind of stuff. Okay, so I put it to chat then. Is like two albums. I would I would imagine that they might be giants, the Flood album and also the first Violent Femmes album. Do young people listen to that? Is that like a thing that's just kind of like passed along anymore, or is it just like. Shut up, Harry. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious if the chat I'm says genuinely here. curious. Yeah. Yeah. If someone says shut up, Jeff, you're not telling me that part. <laughs> okay. Sounds you good. You can just say, like, they think you're doing real well. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's code for shut up, Jeff. Yeah. The the Woj says, I love Flood 2 and I am 26, but I'm also yeah. a musician. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. That's different. Yeah. You better know those albums. If you don't, turn this off right now. Oh, sweet Lord. Actually, keep it on in the background and go somewhere else and go listen to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go away. Don't leave us. Please, please, please we need you. Yeah. Uh, Doug Fresh says, what's up, GI Crew? Love the replay shows. And a ton of congrats to Reiner on your new gig. You're going to crush it. Thank you, Doug. Here's a hug. A Doug hug. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. That kind of freaked Jeff out. His eyes went bigger than I've ever seen before. <laughs> You were just worried where you were going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was a Roger Rabbit character for a second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, also, I've seen a couple questions in the chat. We are playing. I don't think Witcher One is on Game Pass, um, but we're playing it on PC right now on Steam. Would you say which is Witcher One on Game Pass? Like it's only a PC game. It was never released on console. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. but I didn't yeah. want. I'm still scared of definitive statements sometimes, so. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. just put your, head, put your head down and just say it. Okay. Like, just if you're wrong, it. no one will ever call you on it. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> that guy's crop top is with the hood is a bold <laughs> statement. It seems like he's missing a layer. <laughs> like. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you don't show the faces anymore. Oh, here we go. Oh. Mr. Mouse. Oh. I can tell you're playing with just the mouse. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at this, and man. Skipping text. Witcher 3, eat your heart out, baby. <laughs> so do you have a roulette lined up? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. This is going to be all oh, day. Wait. We're going for four hours on this. Yeah. What is Geralt doing? I can't. He's like a little tiny guy. He's, just, he's showing off his armpit. <laughs> he's just bopping folks on the head. I'm yeah, looking, he's, is there a setting that's bigger than full screen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I need that. Yeah. Like, this projector I, wall. What is he? He's <laughs> it's he's all overhand. It's yeah. this. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I never want to make that motion again. I just saw myself. <laughs> How do you feel? How do you feel? Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack. That guy rules. That we yeah, know, he's Marigold. Good. You could try some of your famous magic. Did you guys? Did you guys watch the show? Did you like the show? Enough. Yeah, I did. We need to check the other. I watched the first one, and then I was like, yeah, "This isn't for me." Yeah. <laughs> Henry Cavill was too buff, and you're like, "Ah, I can't, I can't look at this." Oh, yeah. stick with it, Jeff. By episode eight. Yeah. You know, you got to give it eight episodes. This sounds like a trick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait I thought it was okay. Yeah, I thought, you know, it, was, it entertained wait, me. Did Geralt just, sh like, shove Triss? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Geralt, not nice. He just, like, shoved Triss. Yeah. What are you doing? You don't need to push everyone. This is not Assassin's Creed. Big hmm. bully. He really, he really hauls ass. Oh, yeah, he keeps it going. Yeah. I, uh, have you guys read the books What's at all? What's happening? They're no. trying to no. break okay. down the gate. I, uh, I've only read They're Last Witch, which a, a lot of the subject matter was, was drawn from, so I really liked it. Um, but I was, like, watching it, I was like, man, does anyone, like, coming into this fresh have any concept of what's going on? And I think the answer was mixed. Yeah, because it's got, like, a confusing time skip, right? It, yeah, because the, the stories are running with, with Siri, Geralt, and, mm -hmm. um... Oh, I'm blanking on her name. That's embarrassing. Um, but there's three parallel storylines um, that, like, they don't do here. a good job at Get all ready. of saying, like, when is skipping forward. Maybe sometimes they, like, allude to the fact that, oh, that there's battle no last month Time was crazy. And it's like, okay, so this is like a month later. 
Money for high. Um, but and they're not doing it in such a way magic. that they're meant to like it, it's a big it's payoff, so right? They just forgot to explain it uh, or didn't think it was worth noting. It's not like holy cow, it's all coming together. Way. These are weird Get timelines. It. it it really seemed like they were leaning on the fact they 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 were leaning on the fact that book readers would know what's happening, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, they should realize that if you have Netflix. That you have Netflix because you don't want to read yeah. the books. <laughs> exactly. You're like, I'm done. No more reading. You read to me. School's out. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. Oh, guys, Yennefer, you're 100% right, and that's embarrassing because that's who I, I romanced in three. Very dangerous. I don't know what that says about me. I really like that other guy with the mustache. Him. He needs his own game. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt. Liam we Neeson would play him. <laughs> when yeah. we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet. That's always a, a hair option I linger on for a second in the character creation, but I'm like, nah, I can't. Do I don't want to look at that for Lead them a bit down 40 hours. <laughs> well, now with hair physics, Geralt's it's like super fun in the back. And yeah. yeah. To that the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits. Oh, he's a young man. Mm -hmm. You must open the gate. Mm -hmm. we'll Looks a little waiting. like Gollum. Good luck, Wolf. <laughs> I am impressed with the scale and the music and the voice acting. Uh, they're going for it in a big way. Uh, action yep. coming up a little short, <laughs> but you know, big conflict to start out and storm in the castle. Click only when the Series cursor is going places. changes into a flaming yeah. sword. Okay. Now, and the Ryder, second game. Mm -hmm. Do you recall just the combat? Uh, do you start getting into things like oiling your weapons and putting poisons on them and stuff like that? The first Witcher, I know that was a big component of The Witcher 2 and Witcher 3 to a lesser degree. Ah, I believe so. I, I believe okay. the RPG systems are pretty deep in here. I don't think it had the amount of choice that the second one did. It, Remember that second act in, in the second game could be completely mm -hmm. different? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And then the third game just redefined, and still, I think, in all of RPGs, the best mission structure mm -hmm. in gaming. Oh, I definitely. mean, you could be on a mission for six hours, yeah. a yeah. side mission. Yeah. And it would have a good payoff, too, which oh, yeah. is the thing. It's not just like, oh, thanks for saving the village, and then you just never yeah. see them again. Yeah, and I, I, I definitely see CD Projekt Red where kind of Bethesda was after they did Skyrim, right? Like, really kind of cutting their teeth, having like a loyal fan base that's slowly growing, but then they finally hit it, right? With yeah. the third entry. Oh, you know, yeah. like Bethesda, Bethesda did that with Morrowind. I thought that's where they really hit it. And then the next one was just boom. Like, and I bet the next Witcher game's just going to be, and Cyberpunk, right? They're just going to be huge. Oh, that huge little releases. game. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely different, man. But it's cool seeing where, like, you know, the story came from. It is also the fact that the author of the books just gave CD Projekt Red carte blanche to, like, tell the story that they wanted to tell. Because these take these all take place after the books. Is just, like, I feel like there's very few examples of that in the world of entertainment and fiction right now. Where an author's just like, yeah, go for it. That's fine. <laughs> you guys got I, I, it. Yeah. I got to point out, that AI right there, he circled all the way around you to get a better <laughs> angle on you. I wonder if that was just the game just making it look good, yeah. <laughs> or if yeah. the AI is actually programmed to be like, if he's facing off with me, with someone else in the front, I'll come from behind. Yeah. A classic flank. Common styles, fast style. Oh, see, all right, now we're getting uh, keyboard into this a little bit here. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, geez. There we go. Let's, let's tune this guy Don't up here. Don't hit the escape button. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be a problem. That's not how you get out of battle. Oh, it, <laughs> no? Damn. There We're we exploring every <laughs> inch of this castle. Oh, yeah. You got to you gotta see Kaer Morin in its origins, you know? Strong style. Okay. Yeah, cat style, strong style. Do you guys like, cool. do you guys like the stances? You a fan? Yeah. Uh, I like them in uh, Ghost. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. That's it. Now that uh, now that I'm I've I've got that muscle memory, I I love the stances. He Who's shooting seem, arrows? Doesn't seem. Like, where was that bird? Yeah, I was gonna say. Doesn't I'm getting parried like left and right here. This must have been a really exciting part of the book too, right? <laughs> yeah, where they they played chicken with each other until. Until yeah, this is hits. most of episode eight on the Netflix series as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just <laughs> cut off shirt guy and Geralt just going at it. 
There we go. Beautiful. Spacebar. Yeah. Active pause mode, because this game has been mm -hmm. too difficult so far. I need to I need to pause it here. Yep. Huh. What year was this? 2007? 2007, the yeah. Enhanced Edition came out. Oh, it just pauses the game. What? It doesn't... Okay. Well, that lets you read the battle then, <laughs> Ah, right? yes. Um, the Enhanced Edition came out a year later. How many meters do you have up on the left, by the way? <laughs> what are we looking at there? We got your stances. It lets you know I'm using a sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you have like a... Red bar up top, a yellow bar below that. Is that like a? Is that just design the yellow under the logo? Yellow under the logo. Uh, I think that part of it's design, but it looks like that's maybe like the leveling bar too. And then you got three different, four different things down there, yeah. and then kind of a red drip going down the side. Yep. <laughs> Letting you know you're in combat. I uh, I also love if you look to the left, the, <laughs> the shadows that are like scaling the wall. Oh, incredible. Look at you go. Oh, yeah. Fearless. Mm -hmm. By the time we're done with this episode, will we hear a character say, have at you, before he charges? Oh, we can or only Or she. Hope. Yeah, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> That's the hope. It's the hopes and the dreams. Oh, we'll say that they're <laughs> coming. <laughs> Geralt climbing the stairs is still better than the animation of Jin climbing the stairs in Ghost. I don't know if you've ever paid attention to that. Uh -oh. Every staircase is like animated like it's a ramp. <laughs> yeah. And the tips of his feet just clip through it. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. I I played Ghost right after... I think a lot of people did this right after Last of Us Part 2. And you definitely see the difference in detail between... Naughty Dog and Sucker Punch, or yeah. Yeah. a streamlined, smaller, more mm -hmm. intimate experience than an open world, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just in how you crouch and, and sneak around, and like mm -hmm. you said, the stairs, or how you inter your hand touches the environment. Yeah. There's a special place in hell for archers. <laughs> I'm just looking at that guy right there, and then just, again, not to keep talking about ghosts. Yeah. I just have a special hatred for them now. Oh, yeah. They, they ruin every it. fight. Yeah. If I get hit by one, it's just a beeline right over to him. Yeah. Yeah. The worst. I will say I the flame archers as well are just the worst. And anyone who puts flame on their blade, I don't know why it's been such a hatred point for me, but I'll, I just I, I want to kill them all. Yeah, it's probably you don't like being set on fire. Well, right? uh, I guess I'd have to think on that. I can't defin make a yeah. definitive statement on that either way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me know when you do something. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of RPGs, obviously Cyberpunk coming from CD Projekt next. We want another Witcher. It's probably on the way at some point, mm -hmm. like five years from now, ten years from now. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but yesterday, Obsidian Entertainment, and they showed three games. Yes. Grounded, which mm -hmm. is coming out, what, next week or very soon? Yeah, Tuesday, I think, on early... Early Access? Early Access and Game Pass. Yeah game preview <laughs> and then they had the outer worlds expansion yep. mm -hmm. or a new who knows what it is some kind of sequel ish expansion expansion yeah yeah but that is kind of their take on fallout right like yeah. very very much inspired by other games they worked with mm -hmm. you know other mm -hmm. series they worked on and then they announced a new first person rpg called avowed yes mm -hmm. which is straight up elder scrolls right like that is like I don't know what beef they have with Bethesda, but it's like they're doing Fallout, now they're doing Elder Scrolls, and mm -hmm. it looks awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know it was just like a minute-long teaser, but when they went into first person and he did mm -hmm. the hand motion for a spell and then it was on his hand, like I was like, mm -hmm. I want to play that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what, what do you guys think of Obsidian? I think they're kind of maybe poised to really take take the charge on RPGs here. I mean, they're a big studio to begin with, but mm -hmm. Outer Worlds is fantastic, and they're coming mm -hmm. back with more of that, and then... You know, for next gen, about. Yeah. I think their studio that for a while had a reputation as like one of those really great ideas, but the execution, like, game may have shipped in a fairly broken yeah. state. You know, I remember like Alpha Protocol, like, so many amazing things about that game, but then just like, whether it was just lack of support on the publisher's end or lack of time or just whatever, it was just kind of like, a lot of kind of jank around that, you know. New Vegas has like a lot of people that really love 
that Fallout and say, you know, that it's yeah. better than Fallout 3, but, you know, it took years and, like, some patches and everything to kind of get that into a state where it needed to be. Yeah. But lately, yeah, they've been killing it, so. Mm. Well, and I love what you pointed out on the special edition, Jeff, where wow, they're maybe doing a bit better job of Bethesda right now. <laughs> Oh, I would say absolutely they are. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love Outer Worlds, and I am, like, I know I saw some snark on the internet where it's like, uh, like, you know, they're just copying Elder Scrolls, but I, you know, I don't think mm-hmm. that's a bad thing, especially because we don't it's know what the game looks like. We don't know how it plays, so I, I'm I'm excited the for the potential of that, but I also don't think it was a mistake to get that sword up and then, you know, do the do the sign, the so. The in the mm-hmm. age must be hiding in the key. Yep. It is awesome. Yeah, yeah, right there, I was just popping like, I want to see more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to see, because you don't know what that is if it's like you play as a battle mage or that's just one of sure. several yeah. character classes, but it's a good way to like, you, know, it, you could do both. Yeah. We need to find out what they want. Yeah, and we also have to, whoa, get in frame, buddy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. and a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't I love Vesemir. I love Triss. I love all these right characters. As usual, Triss. Is it Frightener? Is that like a monster type in the book, or are they just like big Peter Jackson fans? <laughs> <laughs> what a great movie! Yeah. Yeah. Geralt loves. Yeah. <laughs> Geralt loves Lord of the Rings. It's like I don't know why you keep calling him Frighteners. Yeah. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside. That guy mm. is gonna die right away. He's our red shirt. <laughs> yeah. Drink the thunder well, he's now and keep got the necklace that Geralt's gonna steal. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one here. else yeah. gets two inside. highly designed characters just and then just a quick us. add-on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Inventory. Ooh, here we go. Thunderbolt. And... Guys, I'm having a blast. It's Friday. It's Friday. It is Friday. It's very. Ooh. Seems weird to have like a live model of the character with the inventory slot superimposed on top of him rather than just like an abstraction of a paper doll. <laughs> yeah. He's like looking at you while it's happening. It's like, uh. <laughs> He's like, thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, gang, where are we going here? <laughs> where are you taking me? Slowest you Disappointing. Possible. When Look you have that. something like The Witcher hit. Netflix, whenever you Google it, that's like all you get then is Henry Cavill. Like, mm. the game series and the books are just suddenly gone. Yeah. That'll happen with Uncharted here next year if that movie comes out. <laughs> yeah. You think so? I hope not, but we'll see. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about I, uh, we'll see if that even comes out. Is Mark Wahlberg still Sully in that, or they've just kind of moved on from talking about that? Today. They're filming it. Is. So, okay. Because Tom Holland's the only one I've heard like actively talk about it. I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. He said the best script he's ever read. You'll make a good sword. Seasoned script reader. That's true. He probably never read the script for The Departed. He was. They were just like, yeah, just be yourself in Boston. It's like, all right, I got it. Oh, you, which one said it was the best script they ever read? Tom Holland? That's yeah. what I was making. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant Mark Wahlberg. I was like, I no, I, I bet Mark Wahlberg. He's been around a while. Yeah. He's probably read some scripts. <laughs> one or two. And gentlemen, this came out wow. October thirtieth, two thousand seven. So, oh my gosh! Great right for p- Halloween. <laughs> Very spooky, ah. as you can see. <laughs> oh, he's doing some flips and tricks now, folks. Yep. This is. Flips, we got flips and tricks. Oh yeah, baby. Love it. <laughs> Did you guys ever read Flips and Tricks magazine? No. Yeah, absolutely. I loved it, yeah. No, I have no concept of what that is. I can I can imagine though. Oh Alex. I know. Yeah. Who'd have thought that reference didn't land, but uh, Monty Python does. I'm a yeah. I'm an interesting person, what can I say? Mm-hmm. For better or worse. How old are your parents? I just want to... Uh, 60 and 59. Or... Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, interesting. That's not that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel better. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Hey, Jeff Ooh, Cork. Yes, yeah, sir. You shared something in Slack yesterday. Uh-huh. Oh. I was wondering if yeah, this was yeah. going to get brought up. From your pet. Speaking yeah, of yeah. old references. Old references. Go, go into that. Okay, so... Remember Game Pro Magazine a long time ago? They had a TV show, and 
hosted by J.D. Roth, who would later uh, host... Uh, what was that one? Anyway, anyway, I, it was very corny of its time. It was like 91. It was... If you want to see it like a 90s-ass TV show, highly recommend joined on YouTube and uh, looking at old episodes of Game Pro TV. Anyway, <laughs> in the Fun magazine... House. Fun House was J.D. Roth. Fun House, yes, exactly. Hmm. Um, stairs lead to the lab. Endurance. Follow he also me. had like a survivor clone for kids that my wife and I watched religiously for oh. some reason. Anyway, he <laughs> yeah. hosted this 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 nineties ass show, Game Pro TV. And in the magazine they were like, send us your high scores and you might be in on the show. So I sent in some <laughs> I sent in a high score and I got a phone call and it was someone who's like from the production company saying, Hey, you know, want to put you on the show. It's just like your picture of you, which I'd send along, and then like you just need to say where you're from and your name, your name, where you're from in the game and the high score. Come on. And that was the last I've ever heard of it. If you watch the shows, they would say you get a free subscription and a shirt and all this other stuff. That never happened. <laughs> so I just never knew what had happened of it, right? Because my cable provider, we didn't get that channel. Oh. Okay. And I'd heard, like, a couple of years ago, someone sent me an email out of the blue and saying, "Hey." Are you the Jeff Quirk who got the high score in DJ Boy? And I was like, what? What? So I like, responded, I was like, what are you talking about? Did you, and he was like, saw you on Game Pro TV. And then I like, then the person totally goes to me when I was like, what episode? Because I want to find it. <laughs> yeah. So then anyway, I, I looked and could not find it. But then last night I was like, I'm going to make a, a real effort and work so hard on it and see if I could find it. And I did after probably like 40 minutes of searching. So I found myself when I was 17. And you can hear my voice. I don't know. We just put a link in it or something like that. Okay. I, I have it right here. I oh, can put it right yeah, now. Share, yeah, share it in the chat. It's uh, yeah, that's me when I'm 17, and I think it's hilarious because at least for my ear, I sound identical to how I did 30 <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Like my voice is exactly the same. Yeah. Which, I don't know. Yeah, it was just really fun because I did I, not know. I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, no, it, was, it was hilarious. It was so good. <laughs> Yeah. So wait. And it's at the 14 minute mark of that video. You didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't know for 20 years that you made yes. it on the show? That oh, makes, more than 20 years. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that makes that so That's much better. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, so last night was the first time I saw it or heard it or anything. It was the best. Yeah. I was so happy. <laughs> And it's funny because Jeff like has like a serious accomplishment. Like it's like, whoa, that's impressive. And then the, the next guy is like, I beat Fester's Quest. <laughs> And that was it. It's like, that guy beat a game and made it on TV. Yeah. Yeah. I suspect they put me on there mostly, not because they cared about the high score on DJ Boy for the Genesis, but that someone was from North Pole, Alaska. 100%. You know, like, yeah. 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 Hey. Uh, well, congratulations, dude. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm not a fake gamer boy. Yeah. I've got real <laughs> gamer cred. <laughs> What did you learn? I'm like the Ooh, guy who gets the, the DNA line. test and finds Searching out they're like, something. oh, strong uh, Scandinavian root. <laughs> oh, barrier. I I like Lefsa a lot. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> I've always liked tortillas. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, important. man, that's wild. And then I watched some of that episode after you, you posted it's it. It's amazing. This so show is amazing. Good. It's so good. It is so and they have, like, they have, like, green screen where, like, J.D. Roth will, like, superimposed over, like, Dracula's castle from Castlevania. It's so corny yeah. and wonderful. It's yeah. so recommend. Yeah, watch some episodes this weekend. It is, it's really fun. It is such a time and place thing that'll take you back real, real yeah. quick. Yeah, it's so good. What's, what's especially great? You know, not to turn this Witcher carp off. We don't want to watch this. Anymore. Uh, what's especially great about that show is like the first few episodes. JD Roth had a co-host who was absolutely uh, like Ted. Was it, which one is Keanu Reeves play? Is he Bill or Ted? I can never remember. I don't. What about He's you, Ted. Bro? Theodore. He's, okay. Yeah, that's right. Theodore Logan Esquire. Yeah, he plays. This guy is doing a just an impersonation. Hey guys. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you guys want to learn how to beat the bogus boss, here's a tip. Uh, it just goes on and on, and you can see like he has to do these like extended like reading a review or t giving some tips. You could tell like the actor is just like, oh my god, he kind of loses it occasionally. <laughs> yeah. but it's fun stuff. Yeah, most definitely. Well, guess what your new role on replay is going to be? What, dude? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Oh no! Ah uh, yes, that that large surfer culture in uh, in Alaska, <laughs> North Pole exactly. Alaska. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Chat, I promise we're live. We're, we're just, this story <laughs> oh, yeah. was, Sorry, dude. was too good. We're, we're too in the Jeff story. Yeah. Huh. So you're fighting Darth Revan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What did I miss? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Did you say, Ryan, are you going to post that in chat or somewhere? I did. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I did. Yeah. People can, can check it out. Yeah, check that out. Oh, chat. Speaking of, of television shows and yes, video sir. games, G4. Out of the damn blue. It restores all, their, all their social media restarted. They posted all the same Thanks. thing. Let's go. G4 is back in 2021, which is something that I think only could happen in 2020 of this timeline. Like, and what does that mean? Like, I've not been following. Yeah, that. I don't, I don't know either. It like, means nothing yet. So, is it like, a, oh, so we don't even know, like, it, if is it going to be a net, a channel, or is it going to be a YouTube they channel? Literally, or? all they did was post a video of it was, you know, put to, it was no a polished video one, put one. together, um, or produced video, I should say, where it's like apart. touring, like. He's exhausted. You know, teleportation. the end of Indiana Jones, where they're putting the the um, the Ark of the Covenant into like the the Pentagon the storage or whatever, and and then it's like it shows like Pong, and then it's like we never stop playing, and then it's like G four coming in twenty twenty one. Why would it be Pong? I I don't know. <laughs> um, but so uh, but then the attack of the show. Uh, Twitter account tweeted it out, and then the exploit one is, are the main one, and then the G4 one is the ones I saw. Which is funny hmm. because like the exploit one like has like 12 tweets in its history, and the last one was from like 2012 <laughs> or something like that. Um, it has been quite some time, so I would imagine, and like a lot of the the like the the old hosts and stuff like that were like, oh, like this was unexpected, or like didn't see this coming, so. Mm -hmm. I would imagine none of them are coming back. Like I can't imagine. Ah, uh, that's too bad. I, Morgan I, Webb and Adam Sessler. And right? that's my thing. I if if Sessler was coming back and and Morgan Webb, if, if the main crew from X Play was coming back, I'd be like through the roof. But um, we'll see. I they haven't said I guess that they're not involved. But I just didn't, I can't imagine like Olivia Munn coming back to Attack of the Show while she is like you know. Starring in X Men movies, well, probably not anymore. But, um, but it was just oh, to go? surreal. Like I, I still am not positive I even <laughs> saw it. Mm -hmm. So, did you guys used to watch it back in the day, or? Kinda. Yeah. yeah. I think I was on a couple. I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't remember. Reiner's like, yeah, I'm, I don't remember it because <laughs> what? I'm not Matt. I don't Matt even know what G4 means. Should it be G5 or G6? Is it generation? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Because they did. It was tech TV for a while, and then, and then they moved mm -hmm. it to just straight G4 TV. So, and they were like I, trying to get into it, the, like the podcast game and stuff right before they shut down. So, curious. We'll to see. see. That's yeah. exciting though. Yeah. Um, you know, more people getting work, new jobs. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, chat. I'm curious to see what uh, what you guys think. Are this you guys is an excited epic for boss fight? By the way, it's going. Yeah, man. on the subject of excitement. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm noticing this guy, Alex, a little hint. Yeah. He's got a towel where he's gonna appear. Is it the is it the flames? Oh. Perhaps. I'm, I don't want to die. I have I have some. I'm not convinced. I'm doing damage. Oh, it's at the bottom there. But I'm convinced I didn't read something, and it's I'm missing the main way to kill him. But you know, we're just having fun. We're talking about G4. Oh what? wow, that is aggressive. <laughs> Very aggressive. Yeah. Wow. Not safe. You think he has like a a cheap teleporter? Like he didn't buy like the. <laughs> First party Apple product yeah. and it gives yeah. you the warning like this isn't compatible. So when he teleports, yeah. it does make mm -hmm. that weird little trail. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the same thing as like those remote control cars that have like the cord attached to it. So it's like you can teleport if you're within this circle. Yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> thanks, mom. I guess it's, you know, marginally yeah. better than nothing. Your friend's going all down the block and you're just yeah. like yeah. in a circle around you. <laughs> Running as fast as you can alongside of it. Magic yeah. Knights. I'd hate to face oh, a truly well. powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through uh, the Woj circle. says, uh, I used to watch Attack of the Show before I had a computer, so it was my only way to access internet videos back in the day. Mm. Yeah. I and I know they did a lot of extra stuff, but I really only watched Attack of the Show, X Play, and Cheat. Those were my main ones. But I know they had a bunch of other stuff. 
But that was, like, that and Game Informer were two of the only ways I really learned about games back in the day. Well, you kind of learned about games from Game Informer. Well, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Mostly a lots bunch of, of lots fart, of fart jokes. jokes. Lots of fart jokes. Yay! <laughs> Googly eyes. <laughs> photo comics. <laughs> I just like the big pictures. That's how With I the learned. text on top of it that yeah. you can read. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, get this, get these symbols out of here. I don't want them. Let's see. Oh, good times. So yeah, I, I just something I was not expecting to see on a on a no, Friday, exactly Friday night, or Friday morning. The other mage is. I underestimated him. Hurry. Let's see. Chat, if if G four does come back. Or when G4 comes back, if it's not the main hosts, are you guys going to be still into it? Let us know. I mean, we got to see what it is, man. Yeah, exactly. Gotta figure it out. Yeah. Could just They could just be selling magnets, you know, classic <laughs> merchandise. Yeah. Just to meditate, but I'm not seeing how to do that. M button. Yep. Alt F4. Well, <laughs> he hits the map. There the it map is. Up, yeah. Oh, do you get to go to that dot? Let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. You're almost the, there. The yeah, go up there is, into yeah. the tower here. Yeah. Maybe you can meditate there. Mm -hmm. Music's like, very good. Can I jump mm -hmm. this? No. Yes. <laughs> did you hit the space bar? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> like, Are you trying to get a running start? <laughs> no, I'm trying oh, you're just to just backing away. Back. Okay. I was scared yeah. of it. I was like, I don't think this is the kind of game yeah. where you get a running start. Like, but. hey, man, I what do I know? out of this. I can't, like, rotate the camera, so I'm like. Just back it away slowly. Also, I'm sure there was some way to help Triss. Yeah. Didn't did not do that. Did that say the Witcher's laboratory? Yep. Yeah. That's where he makes all his tinctures. <laughs> what is happening? Labbing it up. Oh. I found it. We have what we came for. Fishing tackle. <laughs> for his face. <laughs> <laughs> what if he wasn't doing that to be stylish? He was just a really bad fisherman. <laughs> Professor, deal with those witches. That's oh. just an afternoon of fishing. All just hooks in his in his in his nose. <laughs> Oh my god, do you remember how weird the glasses were? Was it Witcher 3 had the super weird glasses that people would wear that were like... They weren't like, they were less weird than those. Okay. <laughs> they looked like calipers with lenses on them. Maybe? They were bad. They were, that guy's cool though. Did not like... The professor. Huh. This seems like a bad standoff, because he's got a crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but see, who's he going to shoot at? Let's see. Leo, uh. stop! Wait, Ryan, did you call that? Yeah, he, oh yeah, he's the red shirt, man. <laughs> Getting redder. Was it just because he was generic guy number they're like, one? They're like, how much time should we put into this character design? And the director's like, it doesn't matter. It literally Enough. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> now, if he had aimed it at Geralt, it would have hit the necklace. But unfortunately, it was his time to go. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. When whatever deity calls on, in this Leo. game, mm -hmm. you answer. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir. Oh, do it. Dead. Do the peepo. No! <laughs> no. Nah, he, he doesn't care about him. Yeah, I was going to say. See ya. How did right, this we're happen? down a Leo. He attacked the professor. <laughs> So are we. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. We're all to blame. Triss oh, barely made yeah. it fighting for us. These are bad times. Wish you well, my friend. And something tells me Killing it at mid-max already. Video essays. Relatively. It's got a Patreon. If you guys are interested in supporting we'll that. Them later. You look tired. I'd like you to Killing rest. the game. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. All right. Oh, now it tells me hmm. how to meditate. Dialogue. Text. Yeah, you gotta click on the meditation icon, you dingus. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> also, do you guys see like the red specs? Does that mean like I have to like level up, or maybe am I just like going insane? Mmm. Is your 
monitor cable in all the way? I hope so. Nothing's cut out yet, so. Okay. Let's see. Resolution 386. <laughs> yeah, for you guys. That's not that's that's not for for our uh our audience here. Can I do I have to spend my talents here? I suppose so. It says you're meditate. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 1 hour. There you go. Buzz. The planets moved when you did that. It was really neat. Yeah. There we go. Points spent. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Okay. I'll meditate for. You know what? Geralt fought a lot. We'll give him, yeah. give him a good rest. Everyone needs their eight hours, man. I can't believe you went up to ten and then took down <laughs> two. You're like, you are a real life person. Yeah. <laughs> well, eight, eight hours, they say. I don't want him groggy while fighting, Jeff. Oh, okay. Fair right. enough. Gotta get that good REM sleep. As Cal came by while you were resting, Triss is still unconscious but stable. That's good. That's a relief. I've made a decision. Uh, let's see. We Darth Mike says, you guys ever done a stalker replay with two just here. announced in the Series X writer? We need uh, to Leo Series X might be a good idea. For Triss to yeah, that's a good idea. And the Did you guys ever do stalker? Yes, <clears throat> we need to finish things. But first, uh, no. we must make a okay. healing potion for Triss. We should we'll do it. Search for I'm ingredients. afraid of anything Nothing that's an acronym. <laughs> I can do that. How do I make the it's devious? It's hiding something. Give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress, Lambert. He doesn't hate Triss. Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss will hear when she wakes is "Finally awake, Marigold." That's Lambert. Let's get to work. <laughs> it's Later, very I'll dismissive. Teach you how to extract <laughs> ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. <laughs> I need to end every meeting that way. Fine. Fine. <laughs> yep. Boop boop. The new it's people. Like, Bauer. Uh, bloop. <laughs> it's like TV writing, right? Like <laughs> whenever people are on the phone, they never like say hello or goodbye. It's just <laughs> yep. like. Yeah. Yep. I'll look into it. Click. Click. <laughs> Lambert, see what he's doing. Here's the depth you're looking for, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Got some quests. Am I tracking it though? Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Very strange menu oh. screen. Yeah. This is very much, very, very a early 2000s PC game. Not a bad thing, but definitely has a lot of those trappings. Good beginning to the game though for replay. I, I had some say. action. Mm -hmm. Uh, we lost oh. a red shirt. <laughs> I haven't a lot of overhand strikes. <laughs> yeah. I haven't died yeah, yet. That's There's good. Something wrong. No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Ah, uh, yes. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold hmm. lies unconscious. What by the door? Fire. Could, could you point? <laughs> that door. Jeez. Oh, choice. Lambert, I have to tell you Let something. Me. What is it? Mm -hmm. I can't tell him something. The oh, he doesn't know yet. Oh, no. He wasn't ready. I, I took a nap. I, I went to we'll bed down, before I told him that. That's not good. <laughs> My karma, I think, should go down. I'll find you later. All right. Do you think he's ever tied his shirt? Use the little strings to tie it up like he's supposed to, or is he just like, nope, <laughs> chest hair rules, I'm leaving it out. I mean, chest hair does, is pretty great. Oh, wait. Can't do anything with I'm impressed with this game so far. Yeah. All the, you know, it's, it's just, looking at it through my 2007 eyes, it's not bad. Huh? Mm. What was yeah. the one you liked, Jeff? Um, not Outer Worlds. What was it called? The Witch the sequel. One? What are you talking about? Like uh, Xbox 360. Uh huh. The first one was terrible. The enemy was called. Oh, the two, worlds, two worlds. Two worlds. Two worlds. Yeah. yeah. Two worlds two was great. That had like a spellcrafting system that was super super fun to mess around with. Like some really silly physics and things like that. No. I think they were still working on three. I don't know if that ever you know, must be in development yeah. hell or. Yeah. There, uh, like a few years ago too, they released like a big update for Two Worlds Two, which. I was like, what? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Get this 
different stance here. Also, Even if they pulled the camera down, this fight would not be exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's no. just so much back and forth, yeah. just dice rolling. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, they paused and we all chilled, and, like, it made it seem like there's no more bandits, and now they're still appearing. What's happening here? I don't know if you could go this way, man. You got scared up there last time, remember? Oh, it's mm. open. I think this is a different part. Oh. No, I'm not paying attention. They just didn't clear out the castle. They're like, yeah, there's probably other mm -hmm. bandits, but, you know, yeah. probably not a big deal. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just appearing out of the woodwork now. <laughs> well, we'll test that theory. Chris Rose say? says he has 200 hours in Witcher on PC. Witcher 3. Wow. Oh, Witcher 3. I was like... Yeah. It's like, man, that's a lot in this one. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys... Chat, this is for you guys too. What do you, what do you guys want from another Witcher? Like, you know, mm -hmm. story-wise, I guess, you know, let's try to not spoil what happens in in three. But if we have to, we have to, I suppose. Um, but like, how how could they possibly build off of this? Or three, I should say. I know how they could build off of this. We've seen. It, but. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, you want to go first, or I really don't have anything i think I, I like witcher 3 a lot but i'm not like super steeped into the lore or anything like that like i in the it's been so long since i've played it i honestly don't i i just remember my memories and feelings about it for sure more than the game itself which for is sure. a bummer yeah i guess i i'll let i'll let reiner think on it a little bit here i i definitely like oh sit down um i would <laughs> i would love to see them I'd love to go the early days of like the Witcher order and like see how mm. that all came about um, and like how they dealt with like monsters in the early days and stuff like that. I think that could be really cool. Um, I think we even talked, there was a podcast episode that we talked about like other genres that couldn't have it and it'd be, re I think it'd be really cool to do like ARPG style, like Diablo, kind of with like the early days of, of the Witcher order. I think that could well, be. Well, you're kind of getting the Diablo view right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wish wish fulfilled. Just needed, <laughs> just needed to log on to Steam. Um, uh, but, yeah. I agree with Dark, Darth Mike. I think the first part that you work on in, in a Witcher 4 is the combat. Yeah. Enhancing that. There's depth there, and, and I had some fun in the battles, but. It was, it was a little clunky, a little rough around the edges. Yeah. Um, that could be improved. Keep the same mission system, just a whole new story. You know, I, I, don't, I wouldn't mind a sequel, you know, moving the story forward, just seeing what happens next. Yeah. But yeah, keep those branching missions and the player choice. Mm -hmm. Just give me a new world. Maybe go more density in, in the cities, kind of like cyberpunk, you know, big sprawling castles and stuff like that. Yeah. Get a little bit bigger in terms of uh, civilizations. That might be neat. Because that's definitely... But, it's CD projects seems to really be skilled in the storytelling aspect of it, but yeah, I, I would love a little bit more in-depth combat, um, and a focus on Siri would be really cool. I did, I would enjoy that story a lot. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think when you say in-depth combat, what do you mean? Because like The Witcher Two, I, after a while, I got kind of annoyed by how finicky it was. It seemed, it seemed like a really fussy like preparation phase. I know some people really liked that, but I just Mm -hmm. did not like how methodical you had to be about every encounter, like making sure that you had your weapons oiled up and all that yeah. kind of stuff ahead of time. It would just seem like like busy work in a way. So For sure. yeah. I, I guess I was thinking more mechanically. Like have okay. it, have it hit a little harder, you know, work on the mm -hmm. the, the sound aspect of it and, and the feeling yeah. of it more so than like yeah, like doing like adding a mini game where you like rub the sword yourself or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just more combos, depth there. Yeah, I, I don't want to say like Devil May Cry, but Devil May Cry is pretty good about like. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, if I hit th this button to this button to this button, there's a different thing that happens. Yeah. Or you know, like just really expand the move set, kind of like the the Witcher show. He does some really cool moves in that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that are contextual stuff like that. That might, might be neat if yeah. they can pull that off. If you're well, close to a wall, he does a certain thing, or yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, and that that the cinematography of some of that of some of those fight scenes in the show were so so good so if if cd project could get a little bit more cinematic with that kind of stuff that'd be amazing so hold on stop the presses we have a celebrity in the chat whoa what whoa george foreman 
Wow. You're saying, Alex, you've been doing so great. George Aww. Foreman, I love your grills. Thank you. Yeah. That, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, George. Yeah. Do you think he likes that or is like you were an amazing boxer more? Mm. What What's mm. the high point of pride for George Foreman? A good father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess the grill. See, or unless that, because I could see it going the other way too. What He's like, mean? man. I was a decent boxer. No one remembers. Like, come on. Like, my grills are good, but done. But who knows? What is one of the few or products in the kitchen good. that you call you up by someone else's name? Make the potion. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Beast and some Celandine. Betty There's Crocker. Tell you where to find them. Lazy no. Susan. Lazy Susan. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't call out Betty Crocker. That, that's a bunch of different things. So that's George Foreman, it's a specific thing. That's true. Mm -hmm. Askel, hello. There we go. Need anything That's a good point. Move? And have some he has the iconic what office sequence where Michael burns uh, burns his foot in the grill. Mm -hmm. God, that show, so good. Yeah. Did you see the magic storm? Yes. Uh, Peter hunting. Peter Castro Just says, "Good grill. Came, I made some good sandwiches with it." Jars took I don't know if I've ever, ever actually used a George Grace Foreman grill. Sorry, George. Yeah. I hope that doesn't affect your opinion of me. Usually, less adequate way to make hamburgers inside. Oh. When the storm the grease came, drips right off. The would you yeah. would you rank it higher than like on the, the stovetop? The yes. Okay. Yeah. No. For the lazy <laughs> human, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't think I got the information out of him that I needed. How can I Wait. help? Now he's that's, wow. a, that's a nasty scar. The base for my potion. Yeah. Alcohol. The better it is. <laughs> Zang Master says it's the poor man's panini potion. press. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. <laughs> Duke Faison says we need to edit the Rick, uh, replay wiki and add George Foreman as a fan. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, is it spelled yeah, the same way? Celebrity sightings on replay. Yeah. We had uh, and that was a while Frank Caliendo. Honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Camille Nanjiani. Wait, James did... Adomian. Uh. Um. We'll talk later. Did you actually have Frank Caliendo as a as a guest? Yeah. Or he was just in the... Oh, boy. Uh -huh. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, oh, we did. No. <laughs> well, it, it was funny because he's like the sweetest guy in the world. And just walking around, he's taking pictures of all of our Skylanders because his son was really into it. Oh, cool. Um, so just walking around the office, talking to him, hanging out in my office with him. And then uh, we go down to the replay room. And just like that, that camera turns on and he and the mics are hot. He's in character. Oh yeah. Before we knew it, like Jesse Ventura was having a conversation with Morgan Which Freeman and much. it Slaying he just did not turn off till so the mic turned off and then <laughs> back to the nice guy. It's, I was like, Wow. He knows his craft. <laughs> Why was he in Minnesota? Uh doing stand up comedy. Oh cool. Oh, was he just at Acme? Mm hmm Nice. Or he might have been there no, maybe a football thing, maybe an all star game or something. Oh, okay. Uh, Kamala was there for stand up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Where in the world is Vizimir? Yeah, we still want Polly Shore. <laughs> Do we? But that's like the last. Yeah, that's what we're going to end replay with Polly Shore. Okay, that's the last one. Mm. What game? Doesn't matter. <laughs> mm -hmm. We don't even need a game. If we got Polly, we could just. Yeah. I don't know. Did they ever make a Encino Man or anything like that? Did you ever do a replay on one of the Wally -E games? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> throwing throwing oh, stuff out there. Just throwing tough fight. <laughs> I found a few. Shane Newman stairs. says the coolest guest was Guar. They won't be a oh God, oh, this, God. this guy's rule. The yeah. frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good, you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to yeah, I would love to, to get more guests on, like on replay. Maybe not Camille mm -hmm. level, oh, but actually, was right. yeah, we should we should see if we can get Camille. doing. Take yeah. this armor and sword. One of the best things about when Guar visited the office was they had their costumes on, and so like uh, platform shoes and that kind of thing. So like on top of our vending machine that we had in the break room, one of them wrote in the dust Guar, so you could like jump up or stand on a box and see it sometimes oh cool it was there for years yeah yeah so they so. changed in our rather than the bathroom they decided to use our break room <laughs> to get dressed but yeah. they had these hockey bags with all their gear in there and they use this stuff every night 
this stuff doesn't get cleaned. You know how stuff gets sprayed on everything, and yeah. you know they're very much about fluids at their shows. Yeah. <laughs> so when those duffel bags got opened, it was like it was <gasps> just throughout the office. Uh-uh. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like the oh, war has God. arrived. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. Those guys were very, very cool and nice too. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And then we watched the show too. Went to the show. It was super fun. Huh. They really yeah, stuck former... it to politicians. <laughs> we need and it's you weird. Now. This, is, this is completely removed from Guar visiting us that time, but Justin Leeper, who used to mm-hmm. work at Game Informer as associate editor, yes. mm-hmm. was in the the Let pit, the Guar pit. He was one of their workers. You all mm-hmm. have white gull and calcium so he had connections with Guar. I do. What next? Interesting. You'll need Celandine. Take what I have, plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To mm-hmm. I'm just realizing. Creature. Are we on a fetch quest? <laughs> I think it's meant to show you how to make potions. But yes, we are on a fetch quest. You were just too busy thinking about that smell that Guar let off. Exactly. <laughs> Could a video game be made without you going to get something? A story-driven mm. game. Yeah. Mm. I was thinking about... So that's similar then I was like breaking down my life and it really is a series of fetch quests in essence <laughs> that's what you're doing all the time right yeah. yeah going somewhere and then filling a meter or getting an item and taking it somewhere else so yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what would reverse fetch quest be like you you have a clutter that you have to mm-hmm. declutter that's yeah. the whole game is you have a room filled with stuff and you have to put it in specific spots yeah. mm-hmm. would that be any more enjoyable or would it Scratch that same itch, which is like a rash. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna say maybe. Red don't, Quest. Don't Ooh, I like you. the name. Developers, let's make this. <laughs> okay. I am looking for this creature. I'm not fully seeing him yet. Ah, there he is. He's just chilling. What is going on there? I gotta, I gotta get his tooth. Make the, make the potion. Man, yeah, this is this is fetch quest like to the max here. Oh. Why was it better be a good potion? There? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they left all the bandits inside. That seems like a more of a priority, <laughs> but they don't even seem concerned with yeah, that. Talk about <laughs> a bad smell. I'm gonna stand watch over Marigold for however long it takes. Yeah. Yeah, different day and age. You know, I get weeds in my yard, and it's like, oh, I better figure that out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Back then, you just corpses around the house, whatever. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there we go. I wasn't tracking it. It's on me. I do like the lighting in this, too. It does. Yes. I really hope Mark Hamill plays him in the show. That would be unreal. Where are Lambert and Neskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, no. and Eskel's taking well, this to a room. Well, it's been an hour. Are we going to keep going? Or do you think that's a good call life? it here. Okay. Yeah. Call it a day. I have all the ingredients. That's a replay, everyone. <laughs> that was Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> if you want new stuff, oh. go look at our Crash uh, Bandicoot NGT that we uh, just dropped today. Star oh, Wars yeah, that's Squadrons. A, that's a fun one. Yeah. That's a fun one too. Star Wars Squadrons. We did the demo streams that were New Gameplay Today lives, which are mm-hmm. they're in the same playlist. So, what, as Jeff said, what do you want from us? Um, yeah, it's been a really good week. I know him. Happy, happy to be in the industry. An introvert. So. We'll be back in seven days with another episode. Yahoo! Yay! Stand by. Oh wait, we're getting out. Okay, bye everyone. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>